Hi, Anti Society. Welcome back to the Anti Social Planet. And today we are celebrating Han Dong's birthday and checking out her cover of Nights into Days. This was voted for over on my Patreon, and it's one of her newer covers that she has done. I think it's the newest as I'm recording this. But I am super excited to just hear more of her voice. Ever since I listened to Winter, I've gravitated towards Han Dong's part when she gets into songs. But I also do not trust her not to make me cry at this point. So um, I have tissues within reach. I have Totoro within reach and I'm a little bit worried that this is gonna like wreck me emotionally but we'll see maybe maybe it'll be not as painful as I suspect it could be but with that I have not heard the original song before which is just kind of par for the course at this point so I don't know what I'm walking into but we're going to check out the song and enjoy it and probably get too emotional so I just realized that this video also doesn't have captions on it for translations and again I don't know the original song so I'm not gonna know what she's singing so i apologize for that if you want me to check out the original definitely let me know and then i'll go through the lyrics and stuff but usually with covers i focus more on the singing part of it anyway because i don't want to dig too much into like lyrics and production choices and stuff like that because i assume that that's in the original unless i know it and i can see the differences in it so with that let's get into this special clip oh no this is definitely gonna make me cry Yeah, it sounds sentimental. Okay, I'm not ready. We're like 30 seconds in and I have no idea what the lyrical content is and I'm already feeling my eyes tearing up because of the production choices and her voice. I feel like this might be the first time, or at least the first time that I'm noticing a lower range for Handong. I feel like I've maybe heard her lower range before, but it was in a much lighter, breathier tone as opposed to this one where there's a lot more closure to it. So I'm noticing it more. I'm not ready. That part, the piano, like... Okay, so she does have some breathier moments too, but that part where she just put almost like a puff of air before it, I think it's because there was an H sound, so it was like, if I can get like a little bit technical about how sounds work, H is a plosive most of the time, and plosive just means that there's a puff of air. So in English, at least the dialect that I speak, P's and B's, I'm going to try and not do it directly up to my mic so that you don't get like the weird feedback because there is that puff of air. And H is also, because H's are basically just air that you're blowing through your vocal tract, and then it gets shaped by whatever vowels after it. So the way that she just let there be a bunch of air there, it has so much emotion to it, which sounds ridiculous because it's just air, but it's one of those things where it almost has like a whisper tone to it, but it also feels a bit like when you're overwhelmed that like the emotion makes it difficult for you to speak to like get the sounds out. So I really liked that she had that as part of like the onset of that phrase. <laughs> I think it's the next line. That part. Okay. The piano in this is beautiful, but there's almost these like moments of like, I don't know, it's almost, and, and again, I don't know a ton about music theory, so correct me if I'm wrong, but it, it almost feels like there are these moments where the vocal melody like diverges from the piano melody and then they come back together. So it creates these wonderful moments of like emphasis on specific things. And I, I wish now that I had like the lyrics so I could kind of see what parts sort of they're emphasizing. Obviously my translation is going to be different in terms of where the words line up than the Korean because 
because the sentence structure is different. But I love how there's a, that feeling to it of like this coming together and then separating and stuff like that. Her voice, like there's just moments where she has like that breathier quality and then she gets more closure and there's a little bit more power to it, but it isn't anything overpowering. It's just like there are certain things that have like this certainty to them in the way that she's pronouncing them and then other things where it seems more sentimental and wistful, like they're breathier and like harder to kind of make tangible. That part right there. No, I just got shivers. <laughs> like the little cry that she put in, the more power that's coming here. Like her voice is so, so beautiful. And I definitely noticed her at different times throughout listening to like Dreamcatchers, like the group. But winter was like really the moment when I was like, her voice is so, so pretty. That song caught me so off guard, especially when she started singing in like Chinese. And I was just like, <laughs> with my emotions. So I loved that she put the little cry into it too, which is something that you can really only do if you're getting that extra closure. So I love that she was utilizing the fact that she's putting a little bit more oomph into her vocal and that allows her to add in some other techniques and textures into it. Oh, and she softened up after. I love how before when she had that moment where there's a ton of closure and more power to it and then she softened at the phrase afterwards but I loved at the end of that part where she really softened it out and that note kind of dissipated again getting to that feeling of like wistfulness and I can't go too much into like the storytelling I guess because I don't actually know what the song's about but have this feeling of this difference between what is a memory and what is something that's being felt right now and that difference in like the notes that are softer and then the things that are have more closure or more power behind them it's like the more power it is the more tangible that thing is maybe it's like this is how i'm feeling right now or this is what i'm going through right now compared to the like softer moments where those feel more distant and it's a lot harder to grasp a memory right like the more you try to hold on to a memory the more it starts to like slip through your fingers so that's kind of the feeling that i'm getting there's also a couple of points where there'll be these breaks and things which makes me feel like whatever was said before had a little bit more emotional weight to it because you're letting it breathe you're letting people have a moment with that piece of information to like sit with it. I also don't like seeing her like not smiley and stuff. I'm a little bit heartbroken that she seems heartbroken. <laughs> the song is beautiful in general. Like all the production that's happening. Hang on, hang on, I need a break. 
I'm like legitimately getting emotional. I don't even know what this song is about, but her voice alone is enough to like get to be. I love how she keeps switching between the softness and having more power and things like that. She's showing off such a huge range of how she can use her voice, even if it's not necessarily like a range in terms of like notes. I feel like that's kind of what people think of when you mention range with vocals, but a huge range in terms of like storytelling elements and she just makes you feel it, right? Like I have no idea what the song is about and yet I feel like I know what this song is about because of how she's putting that emotion into the way that she's singing things. I just, I needed a break though. <laughs> You did not look like that too. Uh, that swell to that higher note. Ooh, I loved that part. The little note that she did. I loved before we did the swell and then she hit a bit of a higher note and then that little vocal melody at the end there. There's some really fun vocal melodies in this too in terms of like fun that they would be fun to try and figure out how to do them. Just like from a vocalist standpoint we're like oh that'd be fun because it would be challenging. Oh my gosh I really want to hear the original song now because it's just so beautiful and I just want to see what it, where it started. <laughs> Oh, she let that note fade out. So part of me is like upset that I don't know what the story is and I don't know what the lyrics and things like that are so that I can't like pull that apart and like incorporate it into her vocal performance but the other part of me is happy that I don't know what the lyrics are because I was so close to just like fully breaking down into tears and I feel like if I knew the lyrics that would have like sent me over the edge. Her voice was so gorgeous in that song. There are a bunch of elements in that song that just were beautiful in general. The piano, the other synths and production choices but her voice was just gorgeous on it and I loved how it got to show off lots of different things that she was capable of doing with her voice in terms of storytelling, switching between softer notes and then those more powerful moments where you could really feel like the overwhelming emotion that she was putting into her voice and of course getting me super emotional as someone who doesn't even know what the story of the song is is such a talent that someone can have. Like it's one thing to rely on lyrics to tell a story and it's another to just make people feel feel the story without actually having the full context of it. So she was just gorgeous in that song and I was so close to actually like crying in that, like definitely teared up, but I kind of held it together <laughs> trying to focus on the actual performance of it. I distracted myself a little bit on that one. I feel like Handong is one of those singers where like they're so talented, it like almost gets to a point where like I have too much energy after listening to them sing. You know what I mean? Like I get too excited about the fact that they are amazing vocalists and I just want to talk about all of the things that they were doing. So this is definitely one of those moments where I'm like, I feel like I could say so many other things going back and re-listening and just like really pulling apart what she's doing because it was absolutely beautiful. So I hope that you enjoyed watching that along with me. You can click this place to go see my previous reactions or you can subscribe so that this next time I post a Dreamcatcher reaction, including a compilation coming up to celebrate Han Thong's birthday. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!